Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use our bulk charging feature. A little background on this is that um, here on this charge customers page, you have the option to charge each credit card for each booking um, separately or to mark each booking as paid uh, separately, meaning individually one by one. And that can get time consuming when you have a lot of them to process. So we added a new feature that lets you do a bulk action to charge all the cards or put all the cards on hold or mark all the bookings as paid. So here I'll demonstrate. You'll see that there are now radio, I mean, uh, checkbox, checkbox controls here. If you select individual ones, you now see that there are buttons here that you can uh, perform actions on the selected bookings. Here you see that there are two. One is put charge on hold and charge card slash mark is paid. You can see here that I have two cash bookings. So automatically you'll see that I can't put them on hold because putting a charge on hold is just for credit cards. But if I were to select all of my um, all of the bookings here, you can see I have some credit card bookings. So now this button becomes active and let's say I click on put charge on hold, you'll see that I actually have 29 bookings here, but only 19 of them are eligible to be put on hold. So if I click on this, it's only gonna put those 19 on hold and not do anything to the cash ones. So I'm gonna click on this. One second while the system is processing each hold. Okay, so all 19 were successfully put on hold. Now I want to, let's say I'm ready, it's the end of the day and I wanna mark all of these as paid or I wanna charge all the cards that I put on hold. So click on charge card slash mark as paid. You have 19 bookings with credit card charges, same as when I tried to put them on hold. And then you have 10 that may be marked as paid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Here you see that all of them are now either marked as paid or they've been charged and you can see these IDs here. Um, next, I can, I can show you what it looks like if something does fail just so that you have an idea of what that looks like. Okay, so here I am in my account and I'm going to select all of these bookings, right? Now, what I did to cause an error to happen is I removed the credit card for this first customer. So what I'm going to do is click put charge on hold. Um, if I do that, you see I have three credit cards here. Credit card charges here. So I'll do that. And now you see that these two actually failed. There's, here's the reason why. Cannot charge a customer that has no active card. That's because I deleted it. And if I click on this, it's going to scroll down to the particular one. Now you can see that this one worked. You can look at your history. You can see that, um, yeah, I, it just happened. That's me that just did it. Um, now what I'll do, let's say I'm ready to charge the cards. Four bookings with credit cards to charge. So it's going to try to charge these guys again, and it's going to fail again. Watch. All right, so we get the same error again. Click on here, it scrolls to it. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at launch27.com. Thanks.